what was that that uh what is that hairline thing that men used to always say is like not only am i um i'm the owner but i'm a, a customer of it well, you know what i'm talking about where it's like oh yeah 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 and by the way i'm not only the hair club president but i'm also a client Come on now. So once this kind of wave started happening, everybody hit me. Everybody's like, oh, Cam, you got to, you know, drop NFTs. You're going to make more right. millions, blah, blah, right. blah. And I'm not a person that just defaults to just always making money. Sometimes it's important to uh, not be the rapper, or be on the other side. So I invest, you know, I'm mm -hmm. investing in like 60 plus companies. Like right. I've been chasing every company that I think is like where everybody's going to drop their NFTs to actually get some ownership in that because I do believe that there's a real wave coming. I'm not saying I'm not gonna release an NFT, but that's right. like an individual goal. Or I put out an NFT and right. then I make me some money, but there's money to be made from ownership in a platform. Right, You know, absolutely. You know, we talked about what, you know, people made off of Instagram when they invested in Instagram. Andreessen Horowitz invested $250,000 in Instagram and made $78 million, you know? A lot of us use Instagram, we ain't make nothing, you know what I'm saying? So if you God know damn, NFT man. wave is coming and everybody's going to be making them, why doesn't anybody think about being the owner in the platform? Sheesh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nash. I, uh, so I, I, I'm not going to lie, I've been a fan of Chameleon Air ever since he spoke on, man, I forget the... Uh, the, the gentleman's name. I'm gonna come back to it though. He's the he's the owner of like a protein supplement company. Oh, Tom Bu. I think his name's Tom Tom Bu or something that, like yeah. that. But yeah, 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 yeah. So sorry if I messed up your name, Tom. It happens to me all the time. I am terrible, uh, or my name gets made fun of often. So just in case you hear this, I apologize in advance. But yeah, I heard Chameleonaire on his platform did mm -hmm. a phenomenal interview, and I was like, whoa! Mm -hmm. I had no idea that that's how he moved, that that's what he was even up to at the time. So I think he's a very brilliant mind and understands business and tech at a very high level. Yep. I'm always appreciative of people who speak from that, which is not just seasonal, trending or new. Like okay. he's been in the space. He's been in the tech space for a minute. He's not just talking on it because you know, Web3, NFTs, Metaverse, like, no, he's he's been in that space. So it's cool to see what he's saying because he's basically looking at where the traffic is going and he's putting his money on a safer bet. Not to say that NFTs are not a safe bet or that they're not a great investment, but there's going to be a lot more NFTs created than platforms to house them in. Mm. Right. So so I think I think this is a great opportunity for us to start seeing how some of these successful people think and they're able to almost reverse engineer or just look at something from a completely different purview or, or perspective and see that, OK, here's where everyone's going. Yeah. Instead of me just jumping in the crowd and trying to do what they're doing and become just another person who's fighting the good fight, hoping to come up on top. Why don't I just take a safer bet and provide something that they all need, which is a platform to purchase or secure their NFTs? Like a lot of these complementing services. And, and, and we've, we've mentioned this at some point for sure on the journey of the podcast, but sometimes when, we, when people say collaboration over competition in business, especially from a service standpoint, it's really, it's really looking at products or services that complete what's what, what the product is doing or what the product needs yeah. instead of jumping into the market and competing with everyone else within it so you can you can develop a completing not a competing right. but a completing product or service because it's already there there's a need for it and you're just providing the convenience and the security that's that's really good I don't know if I should say something, but I will. <laughs> Please do. So um, I think that last bar that he said just really brought it to home where it was like, yo, they invested 250000 on Instagram and we all know how much they made off of it. And we're not making a single thing. If we are, it's coins compared mm. to those people who actually invested in the platform. And it goes more from 
not just being consumers and creators of the next wave, right? It becomes more of the investors and the platforms than necessarily, you know, and, and that's hard for me to think about because it's like, okay, something's coming new. How do we create on this? You know, mm-hmm. um, in a more influence kind of way and in a more, you know, um, for uh, early adapters, adopters on, on situations. That's, that's how I'm always thinking about it. And then it's like, nah, you could do that. It, it could still happen, right? Because you should be one of the biggest creators of something that you've in, invested in. You should be uh, one of the biggest creators, influencers that you have equity in and that you have some skin in the game in, right? Because not only, what was that, that, uh, what was that hairline thing that men used to always say is like, not only am I, um, I'm the owner, but I'm a, a customer of it. Well, you know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, oh, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. Somebody remind me what exactly what it was, but it was always for these balding men. And it was like, oh, it works. Not Shout only am to- I the the president, but I am also a user. And it's like, okay, great. Right. Awesome. Right. But, <laughs> but, yeah. um, it's a ball it's joke. Like, it's a ball joke. You gotta be bald to get it, you know. I mean, shout out to the bald folks. Yeah, shout out to y'all. But I'm not. Bellos. I don't have those problems. I don't have those problems. But um, <laughs> but it, it, you, it's all about changing the mindset. It's all, and that's why I love this clip because, especially with the Instagram thing, like I spent hours creating mm-hmm. for Instagram and, and super happy that they're finally monetizing it for creators. But even from a standpoint of a, a, an example of like the Instagram has reels with are these short form videos. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're like, you can make up to $8,500 in a month. Cool. You have to get 9.8 million plays. Sheesh. And I'm like. "Mm." That's crazy. Right, 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 right. I'm like, thank you. But something doesn't add up. Right? Yeah. And how much are they making off of the 9.8? That's crazy. Right. So you got to think of it like, okay. um, Now, granted, you you want to take things more into your, your own control with your content and blah, blah, blah. That, that's a whole nother topic within itself. But the way he's he's looking at it is like, look, I'm going to create the NFTs. I, I am later down the down the road. That's not my main thing. My main thing is if there is a new wave happening, how do I get in the game as far as ownership with it? Mm-hmm from these platforms rather than just a one and done situation, you know? Yeah. So, and that, and that doesn't just only have to be NFTs. What is something that a lot of people are starting to talk about and how can you get more skin in the game with that? Whether it is even from a brand ambassador standpoint where they give you some equity into it, you know, um, you know, creating your own kind of platform about it, you know, it's it's changing the mindset and, and shifting certain things from just being a creator to more being an owner. And I'm like, hmm, this is this is really interesting, right? Yeah. To to the yeah. point where um and look into that that um that that interview, right, where he even explains how you can invest in certain things that I gave to Moose. Like maybe we got to look into this, right? Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. And just that little switch, but that's why these interviews and, and content and everything is shouldn't just be something we consume. It's just something that we literally take and we execute on. It's like, okay, cool. If there's a new wave of erasable pens, right? Everybody and their mamas is, is 
talking about coming out with their own. Okay, who makes them? Who makes them? How do I get into deal with them? How do I get to talk to them? What are the other competitors doing to make something like that? How do I get in the game with them? You know, not how can I come out with my own is how, what are the different parts? You know, who does this very well? Um, people who, who invest in stocks, like what I realize when it comes to Apple, it's like, they'll look into the different parts of what makes the computer and yeah, invest in those way. too, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know? Um, because yeah, you want to invest in Apple, but Apple has this situation, this graphics card, and this, the, the, you know, these different hardwares. Mm -hmm. Are you also, because when they're up, those are up too. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, shout out, shout out to Ch Chameleon Air for just helping even a creator like me just start thinking about, hmm, that's. Let's not just think about being first to create it, even though that should still, right? Mm -hmm. But not before, how do you maximize the most out of this particular wave or opportunity? That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's good.